I'm going to go ahead and switch my screen here and we're going to jump in. Um, so we're going to start with Rebecca today. Rebecca's got a portfolio, a uh, couple of tweaks that are going on. Uh, she says she's changed the background of her portfolio and gave Okta a different background and the hero is not the right size anymore. I don't know why. Uh, can you help me get the proportions of the hero to mirror the way they look on mobile? Um, like the margin to the top and bottom. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. Um, I do I do still feel like if you're going to go with that gray in the background, uh, you need to adjust that featured work right there, um, so that it it will um, stand out. That gray is kind of kind of pulling it back. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, oh, and you've got this uh, question about the the menu. Okay, yeah, these are relatively small. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Um, boy, if I could just find my way over to, if I could find my way over to. Um, where, where is this VS Code? There it is. All hide, hiding out there. All right. So let's uh, let's take a peek. Let's get check the status on your project. Pull in your updates. All right. Um, so looks like Octa's been updated. You've made some style updates. So there's a few things in here. Let's go ahead and fire up the live server and see what we can see. All right, so there's Okta. So I see you've got like a little more well-defined, um, like it, it's like there's a clear line here now, which I think is an improvement. Um, yeah, so this is a nice looking portfolio. Um, you said there are proportions that you're trying to make the same. So let's just inspect element here and see what's going on. Um, so what? Woo! All right. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. So, so much of this is related to just moving that, that around a bit. Um, so you've got, let's see here, Octa, overlay section. So here's Octa Hero. And Octa Hero has a 60 vertical height right now. And as we change it to 50 or 40, um, Maybe this overlay is forcing it out too. Nope. Perhaps that is height 100%. Okay. So height 100%. And you've got that padding. Come back up. We now said 50%. No, sorry. Doesn't look like that height was doing anything for you. Well, we definitely got that to like clamp down, but the big question here is why is it being belligerent? refresh this so I just broke everything all right so height 100% um, padding no nope, 
get the other thing. Um, let's take a look at the way this is constructed. Yeah, let's just go into the full height of the space available to you. So I bet if I kept that at 100%, but I came back over here and changed the section height. This is, I believe, where we had a height of 70. Yep. All right, so now that's going to stay the same. So it looks like you had a height associated with the... Um, And it's, it's being responsive and it's based off of this logo. So as you get smaller, you get a little bit of space to the top and bottom. It's not egregious. Um, as you get, that, that space is pretty much the same. Um, well, maybe it's a little bit more. It's It moves around a little bit. Um, It just moves around. It, it would seem like there was a position. I mean, like um, yeah. It's because this vertical height is slightly different based on the overall size of the screen. Um, turn that off. Obviously, you, you get into a much different uh, sizing. it back on, get smaller, come back out. I don't want it to snap yet. I want to get over here and take a peek. I said 70. a little larger yeah so what I'm seeing here Rebecca is that maybe what we need to do is we need to come in to Okta and adjust it slightly down in height when you get on a mobile um, because right now the 60 vertical height if I change this to like 55 it pulls it up which means we, d we just need a media query um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to this and you know, get rid of that for a second. Let's go to style. Let's find, let's find Okta. Uh, yeah, there's Okta Hero. Uh, Okta Hero, that's just, that's for the button. So I just want to make sure I've got, we've got six Octas here. So let's take a peek. So there's Okta Hero. Uh, there's Octa Hero. Oops, I did that on my own. Octa Hero, Octa Hero. Okay, so it goes up to 70. Um, let's take that down to 50. Let's go the other way with it. Um, so that you can see immediately shrinks it up. It might be shrinking it too much. And then it grows. I suspect you really need 55 here not 50 um, so as we come down adjust a bit but you can see this is this is pretty close to where you were before um, one more time in just kind of watching how it transforms itself yeah that's staying pretty close so if you want to tweak it a, a little bit more they, it's just under this media query and you can like go to 53 or go to 58 whatever it is to your particular liking uh, I'm gonna leave it at 55 because I think that's just a nice middle ground and uh, and we'll go forward from there um, let's see here you also had a question related to the nav and it was basically because it, at this size this begins to get tight like obviously that, that's not great um, if we look at it here it's clearly fine but I pointed out last time we, we spoke that um, you know there's this really simple code pen that I put together 
that has like company name and then here's here's uh you know um, an unordered list to the right but as you come down you get this single mobile and here's the here's the options that come with that I really think something like that is what you're ultimately going to want here uh, you're going to want something that like just drops down and kind of fills in that space but for mobile like we you want a you want a menu or something here that will give you a, a drop down so the way that I would do that is I would come in here to this main wrapper up here for the container and I would basically make this main nav go away for mobile and I'd bring in a secondary nav to replace it. Um, the way I would go about doing that is if we go into, let's get rid of your images, if we go into your index, and this is something again it's going to need to it's going to need to take place on all of your pages because you do not have um, you do not have uh, a oh, what's the word I'm looking for you don't have a framework so you're going to have to make these updates over and over and over again I'm going to call this desktop not deck top but desktop so there's desktop and we're basically going to make another UL um, and this one's going to have a class of class equals mobile and I'll come back in a minute and we'll determine okay well what styles need to come across um, but this mobile ULLI um, we'll need to copy we'll need basically everything that's in here and you know, th what this means is if you make a change to any of these, um, you're going to need to update it. Um, but this this is your mobile, this is your desktop. Um, the trick here is is that we need this actually to live within um, another element. So this is going to be like a, ne a, a nested um situation and I want to just kind of reference back to what I've built over here um, so the way that this works is you've got mobile which is a UL that has an LI inside of it that's that's how you get that word mobile and then you've got the drop down actually inside of that so what we'll need to do is we'll need to basically place this and delete it that goes inside of there then once we're inside and actually this class of mobile this is the hidden part goes here um, then we'll come back with an li that will say uh, mobile just for now we'll change all of this and then you've got your class here um, and we'll come back to, to determine how that's going to display in a moment. The first thing we want to do is, is deal with this desktop mobile dynamic. Uh, that's the most important thing to get sorted because you want to you want you only want one nav to show up at a time. And it, right now, as we come back over here, it's going to look all all weird because wait, homie, why do you have all all these things? So we need to hide this one and we need this one to show up. Um, oddly enough, it doesn't show up on desktop. So you must have, you must have a mobile style already created, which is potentially helpful. Um, let's see here. Let's, uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see Abraham's over there. With a question, we'll get to you in just a moment, Abraham. I've got to got to find my way back to <laughs> back to the code editor. Um, all right, so let's look here in styles. Uh, let's find it. Let's find mobile. Yeah, okay. So you've got mobile in here, which is good. Although mobile, it's interesting. Mobile is 
already associated, so I need to find out what that's associated with. Um, it's not on that. Let's look on this. Um, should pop up relatively easily. Okay, it's not on Okta. It must be on Bio? Main Nav Mobile. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, it's a Main Nav Mobile. Alright, so what's happening on the Bio? Let's just go to About and see. Okay, so for m Mobile, so yeah, there's a different usage of Mobile um, that's on your Bio. So it appears that like, like we've already made some adjustment here. Um, I'm gonna move off of that naming convention for this. Um, I'm just gonna. So, and I guess we have desktop as well. Let's find desktop. Yeah, desktop none. Mobile display flex. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay away from that because I don't. Man, I, although mobile's already, th well, okay. We'll say mobile none and dot small. Well, I'll use a dot small con uh, context. Um, we can determine which one of these we want to keep in a bit. Um, but right now we're going to just say display block. Um, and what happens here is we should be able to get rid, we should be able to, oh, you know, we gotta put small in here now. We should be able to determine when each of these is going to show on your home page. Um, so mobile goes away. Desktop is still there and I don't necessarily know why. Um, oh, it's because I, no, that's sh that's the way that I want that to work. So, display none for desktop. Um, is main nav doing something else at the small size? No. Let's find main nav. Play flex. Oh, interesting. So it does have a media query associated with it. Um, I'm just curious if I remove that, if that gets rid of the issue. Um, and the answer is no, it does not. Take a look at this. See what else. I'm, see if I'm missing something else. Oh, never mind. It's it's doing exactly what I asked it to do. Yes, that is that is the thing that you asked it to do. That is th that is the listing underneath. It is in fact going away. I can not get rid of that in case you need it later. Um, yeah. So basically, this is just showing the small mobile tag and those are the ULs underneath it. Um, as you'll notice over here when we go into the CSS um, basically I have the class of mobile and then I have a class of drop down. I don't really have to have that. All I really need to do is say um, I want the visibility hidden on, on that I item. Um, and to do this, I'm just gonna wholesale lift everything here, and then we'll come back over here, and I wanna focus on small, small UL LI. Uh, so we'll come over here, and I'm gonna look for, okay, we'll do it right here, small UL, Li, and basically I'm saying I don't want to see 
that drop down anymore. Um, let's come over here. Let's get into that small size. So now that's just this. And the interesting thing is like something must happen with main nav. Main nav must, must have some quality to it. Um, so I'm gonna bring main nav back. I think that's where you're getting your padding. Main nav, it is. So main nav is giving you some padding. Um, mobile is also, um, if we look at this, yeah, mobile's kind of hanging out. So um, probably just gonna try to hack this for the moment and to say, hey, um, er, not mobile, need to make sure, that, yeah, we want that word. I'm gonna say display, block, float, left, or float right for the moment. Um, I could come back in here and do some flex stuff, but don't necessarily want to at the moment. Oh, that's that should probably just be, let's turn that off. So let's say um, dot small text align right should yep that pushed it just boop, over. So now you know this says mobile. You can switch this out with an icon if you want to, um, just like you did here or, or down here. Like um, this could be a, a hamburger menu if you want it to. The only thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to get it to, to show the nav whenever um, whenever you hover over it. So to do that, um, basically we're gonna pay close attention to this. Um, this has a hover state that basically switches it from hidden to visible, okay? Um, display block, all those nice things. So essentially we're gonna grab this and we're gonna come over and associate it with all that information except it's going to be um, related to the hover. So there's hover. Clean this up a bit. Should give us what we need. Not quite yet. What is that target? That is small. UL small. I think it might be UL small. Um, What, I'm missing something. necessarily matters for this is the fun of always plugging in there's li ulli ulli ul do I have this nested improperly that's possible um, ye well, yes, yes, I do. Uh, that's the problem. So I have this li, and the ul is supposed to be within that. I've got it outside of it. That's why it's having trouble targeting, because I have not properly nested this. So there's the ul. The ul needs to be within that li, as we see right here. Li, there's an anchor tag, so it's a target. 
but then there's the UL and within that UL there are LIs and the thing continues. So now we have the construction that mirrors what we had before and, and did I save it? This is the next question. Save, save. Come in and see what my problem is now. UL, LI, UL. Oh, those are over there. Why are they over there? They're definitely off the screen. So that leads me to believe that That says I still have them hidden. Small ULLI. Where is small ULLI? Um, oh, that's because I've got small in there. If I took small out, that was not great. Um, okay, so small is still in there and it's there. right up on top of each other. Let's put small Somebody's trying to talk to me. Oh, that's that's just me. Um, Abraham. Yeah, uh, we'll come back to that Abraham. But yes, that it just. Anytime you're writing a, a anytime you're writing a cover letter, you want to customize it for the particular job that you're applying to. Um, so tailoring is the most important thing there. Um, so yeah, uh, right now this this is frustrating. Um, it should no, I should not need that. Um, so small display none. That's fine. Oh, dummy, such a dummy. Um, this is all gonna be invisible outside of that media query. something that takes place down here. Hmm. There's something that I just fresh. Visibility hidden, which I understand. I totally asked it to do that. It's perplexing what it is that I've done that is kicking it over there. There's my ally. That's my main nav. That's all the stuff that I'm looking for. Um, and it, you know, it makes sense all should just be a line right okay and then mm-hmm that all makes sense and then
Oh, because I've now hidden that, which is a problem. All right, so I've hidden it, and I'm only allowing myself to show it. Not small. So this is specific to small. That should bring small back. But the ULLI refresh. small and there's that inside of it there are these elements that are over to the left um, there's got to be something I'm forgetting to bring over here so in my model got this drop down mobile drop down li mobile drop down li is how i get the width on these and it's also how i get the positioning perhaps that's why it's off to the left so i'm going to model um you know just to just to make this one to one um everything here is pretty much the same so a small drop down li that breaks that a bit, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to want to get my sandbox here working the same. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that. And oh, space. Um, this as well that gets it back all right so I've got all these things all these wonderful things that I know are necessary to make this function um, without without these things like if I delete it this stuff away like this is a very different experience so I want to wholesale bring those over um, into here. So I'm going to save that. Um, that means that I need to add my class of drop down here. And let's look. Yeah, okay, so there's that. It's not hidden anymore, but I do know where it is, which is good. Um, I do not know why it's showing off, off to the side, but so much of this is, yeah, it's width. There's a width of 70%. If I go with 100%, um, it does a little better for me. Um, I'm going to refresh. There's text align, there's display, there's padding, okay. Uh, there's, I wanna say vertical width comes into play here too. But I'm not gonna worry about that yet. things that we bang our heads against the wall for a while okay so that's just padding to the north and south that width will impact things it's, it's forcing itself off to the side and I don't necessarily know why at this moment could be flex no and that's not gonna help anything that's too small just focused on mobile um, flex wrap with 95% padding Okay. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I 
Yeah, that's inter. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe, maybe I have figured out what's going on here. Is that vertical width is definitely messing with it in terms of how it wants to. Like it, it's it's basically it's basically fighting. It's interesting. We have this main logo here. The main logo has a width of 50 pixels, which is fine. But maybe because that logo has not been declared a, there's, there's like an anchor tag here. There's the image. The only width that is actually declared on that so if I said 100% that gets me to the width okay um, if I said Z index 1 or rather if I said display absolute that's on small. I don't really want to display sm absolute on small. Let's refresh. What I'm seeing right now at the moment is that width and then the specific size of the LIs. The specific size of the LIs is causing a problem because it's set to 100% vertical width. Um, or a uh, viewport width. I keep saying vertical width, but it's viewport width. Um, I want to check the height. Let's just check padding. Padding. Okay. Okay. So I might be able to. I might be able to make some adjustments here. Um, and basically, what I'm trying to do at the moment is just get it. I just want this to show up. I just want it to show up and, and be functioning so that we can you can go in and just uh, adjust the styles to match what you're looking for. Um, I want to get rid of this width 100% view, viewport width. That should okay. So now we've got something that looks reasonable. Um, the big thing that we need is um, it needs to it needs to be hidden until the hover, and right now it's not. Um, to get that back, I want this back, and. go yeah okay so it it's now the drop downs in there it doesn't look like much and I think that's because the or, or I thought it was because of the width um, because the width of these LIs really matters in my opinion um, that drop down is still off to the side. Um, and the allies are off to the side. Right auto should should be getting us to the point where that's moving into place. But that's gonna need some more work. And I think it's because of the overall construction of this elements that are not basically we need to refactor this nav bar to make this happen. Um, so what I'm going to do, and just know that like this right here is still here. So, I mean, if you decided, Hey, I just want that instead, it's like, it's just, it's just an instant switch. But what I want to do is I want to force this, push this up and I want to have you work on making this drop down, do what it is that you want it to do right now. It's not there, but it can be. Um, but I really think that, that this is where 
I need to hand it over to you and see what you want to do with the styling. But the drop down's in there, like the hover's there. You can switch it out with the hamburger menu. Uh, the drop down's happening, but how do we want to style this thing? Um, there is a sandbox over here in code pen, this responsive drop down menu uh, that I would encourage you to dig into. And I'm gonna let you go with it from there. But um, that's gonna wrap it up this morning for feedback loop for Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday the uh, 29th. So with that, I'm Chris Courtney. I hope that all of you, um, all of you found my stumblings and fumblings uh, helpful. And otherwise, I will chat with you all tomorrow. Take care.